Hello guys, I've missed you. Yeah, we've missed seeing everybody, haven't we? We're gonna be ready to get back together. One of the things we're gonna be talking about when we get back together, and before we get back together too, is that we gotta learn how to take care of each other and how to do some service things. So I have some things on the table here in front of Mr. Ron this morning that are labeled. This one says it is, can anybody read that? Can you tell me what's in that? Yeah, and it says ice. And then this one, guess what that is, boys and girls? I bet you know what that is. That's candy. And Mr. Ron's going to do an experiment for me and talk to you a little bit about telling you how it feels. So we're going to scoot these things over here close to where Mr. Ron can get them. And he's going to take a piece of candy and put it in his mouth. And he's going to eat the candy and he's going to tell us what he feels. What is that? Sweet. Very, very good. Very good. Mmm. Love it. What I love candy. What color did you get? Do you know? Green. Oh, is that good? <laughs> Green for spring. Oh. Yes. All right. All right. Now, he's got the taste, and he knows that it's sweet. So now I'm going to ask him to do something else. Would you put one of the ice cubes in your mouth? Don't swallow it. Now, boys and girls, you can't do this without mom and daddy helping you. So you mm. need... Mmm. Cold. Just mm. let it lay on your tongue for a few minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like ours. That quietens him down quite a bit, doesn't it? Quietens him down quite a bit. Okay. Now, you, is it too big a piece for you to chew up, right? No, I got it. <laughs> it's gold. Okay, so he chewed up the ice. And now, I want you to take another piece of candy. Ah. Uh. Okay, how's that? Does that taste good? There, there's no taste. How can that be? I, I don't know, but there's nothing. I, you don't feel anything? No, I don't feel anything at all. Huh, wonder why that would be, boys and girls. I'm not sure. Tell me. All right, well, let's see if we can figure out what has happened. All right, first, we gave him candy, and it was sweet. Candy in this lesson represents service because we're going to be talking about service. Ice in this lesson represents thinking about ourselves and not thinking about others, just focusing on ourselves. And so we just focus on ourselves, we forget to do the service. And when you do service, Mr. Ron, now I want you to take another piece of candy. When you do service, you find that there is a certain amount of joy mm. from helping others. Very it good. Mm -hmm. It's orange. <laughs> ah, you like that, don't mm -hmm. you? So when we take care of other people, we learn the more service, service we do, the more sweetness we get out of life. That's Thank true. You. Thank you, Mr. Ron. Love you guys. God bless you and be safe. Hi, boys and girls. It's so good to see you. Did you enjoy seeing Mr. Ron today? That was big help for him to, to do that with us today. He's missed you just like I have. We missed you so much. But what he said is right. Doing a service for someone is sweet and it does make your life richer. So I'm hoping that while you're at home together with your parents and your brothers and sisters that you're finding out ways to perhaps do some kind of a service for them to help them. Maybe you can help your little brother and sister learn how to tie their shoes, or maybe you can help your little brother and sister to learn how to pick up toys. Maybe you could help mom or dad in the kitchen or in the bathroom. Don't leave your towels and your, don't leave your underwear laying on the floor. All of those things would be sweet things to help and to be of, of service to someone else. So I'd like for you to consider doing some service projects this week. We're going to be talking about some people that are servicing us right now. And I'd like for you to think about maybe doing something nice for someone else. And if you do some kind of a project, 
something that you're doing at home to help, or if you make a card to send to somebody, or you send a text message to somebody, or send a picture to Grandma or Granddaddy or to Mr. Ron and Miss, Miss Joanne. Anything that you do like that that would be a contact and some kind of sweetness to make our lives better, it makes your life better too. So if you could do something like that, and if your parents would take a picture of you doing them, then we're going to show those from next week's lesson. So I'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. I want to remind you that Mr. Todd, Pastor Todd and Miss Leanne bought these books for us, and we asked your parents to pick them up for you at the church, right outside the choir door. And it says, Walking with Jesus. Because as we talked about last week, that's what Jesus did before he went back up into heaven to live with his heavenly father. He walked with his friends because, you know, they have to walk a lot. They didn't have any other means of transportation. Maybe there were some donkeys, but they didn't get, you know, they didn't have cars and they didn't have trucks and they certainly didn't have trains or airplanes. And so they walked most of the places they went. And as he walked, he taught. He taught them what he wanted them to do. He told them how he wanted them to carry on his mission. And he told them, you've got to tell everybody because the only way to get into heaven is to know Jesus. And so he wanted everybody to do that. He wants everybody to get to go to heaven. So that's what the, the, the disciples, that was their great commission. That was the thing he told them to do. So he's told us, to do nice things for people. That's one of the commandments, was to love one another and to love our neighbor. And so right now, with the, what all's going on with this coronavirus and we're staying home and we may get to get back out a little bit more this week. And if we do, then we're gonna to have to be very careful, you know, cover those coughs and cover those sneezes and, you know, be careful who you touch and who you don't touch. And, you know, just help mom and dad out because this is, this is kind of a tough time. But it's also kind of a really tough time for our special people that are taking care of us. Right in the middle of this book, right in the middle section of the book, it says, Jesus is with me. And you're supposed to draw a line to match up the grown-ups that you might find at these different places. And then you're supposed to, <clears throat> excuse me, then you're supposed to circle where Jesus is. Well, we know Jesus is with us where? Everywhere. Everywhere we go, Jesus can be with us. So they show a hospital here, and then one of these people, you would need to draw a line from one of these people to the hospital to show that you understand that that worker is helping us, and that would be the doctor right here, and all you'd have to do is just draw a line over to it. So it's just a fun little activity I'd like for you to do with your parents.